So this is Graham 70. This is quite a legendary port, and you yes. see it a lot, actually. You do. There's a lot of There's it. There's a lot. They made a lot of it. And each have a little bottle. And I think is. it's just now starting to come into its pit end. Yes. So that's why everyone's drinking it. Thank you to Richard Cleary, yeah, well, who is the dad of Kate, who works here. Legend. Um, who I'm trying to get in front of a camera, but it's not going to remotely do it. But, well, you know, I'll persevere. Um, he, he had this for his birthday, and he decanted a little bit off into two bottles because he knows Ben and I love the stuff. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. <laughs> um, and 70... Ginger ale. 70 Grahams is, is a wine that I've tried a lot, and I love a lot. So, what, what's, uh, what's your story with 70 Grahams? When did you first try it? How old was it? Well, you were one and a half. It, not what I asked. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I tried it in 2002 for the first time. So about um, 30 years old. Uh, 30 years and, and, and I've seen it evolve and, um, and grow. When it was young, it was quite powerful. Um, still, even though it was thirty years old, it was it was gutsy and it was he you know heavy and there was all that primary fruit there. Um, decade or so later, it it had started to develop those little sort of savory, dried, fruity sort of spicy elements to it. And now um, it's now it's getting into figgy pudding territory. Yeah, but not you know, but still not tawnied. No, nowhere near. No. So we've had Posage 70, mm -hmm. which I would say is a more advanced version of this. That wasn't yeah. necessarily tawnied, but it was very figgy, whatever. Then we had the 63 Go Campbell, mm -hmm. which was very spicy Christmas yep. cake. This is somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Have you, you've not had this before, have no. you? No. No. But um, so much ginger beer. There is. I <laughs> think that this maybe is a bottle uh, that has advanced a little yeah, more I'm, I'm feeling that than... Too. than as a style, it's it's got this, as you say, it is ginger beer, a lot of ginger beer, and there's almost a um, a sort of uh, twiggy note coming off it as well. Mm. Yeah, that's not the best one I've ever tried. No, that's a bit further on. Was open two days ago though. That's it was open two days ago. Should be better than that. I mean, it's great. It's it. So this bottle, and this but is it what is. It's a bit. It's a bit caramelly. This is what is really fun, though, yeah. about old wine is the well, fact that you don't get good old wines. You, you get see what happened to us. Great bottles of old 1970, wine. 1970. We had mm -hmm. a bottle of 1970 Croft. It tasted like it should have been 1770. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. it was great. Yes. This is obviously great. I think. I think that. I think. I think that. This this bottle is is um, it's it on the on the nose it's got that gingery spiciness, but on the palate the fruit doesn't come up to match off the mid, that the mid palate just it dips, dips which is unfortunate. But having said all that, it's still got elegance to it. It's still got gentleness to it. It's still lovely. It's but, but just, it, it I think faulty, it's though, not, though. it's not at its best yet. Well, no, I'll rephrase that. It's, this white, this bottle this, this is bottle, not showing its, this its best. This bottle just is a bit wonky. I mean, you know where they got it? Yeah, but I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know. Not, no. It better not be from our case. No, no, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but I think, I, you know, when, when, we, when I did that uh, tasting of Graham's, it was by far one of the great wines that night. And I think it's just that this bottle is maybe it is because it's been on for two days. Um, you know, um, it, 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 maybe they didn't put a stopper on it. I mean, that's uh, yeah, um, it, it could be. But I think, I think this is just a little bit over the hill, a little bit, which is good education, though. You know, um, but it's not. It's not the best that this. But it's ever not. Tasted. It's not like the line. The wine is advanced. Mm -mm. It still tastes quite primary. Mm -hmm. But the composition itself isn't there, mm -hmm. which is a, a sign of the bottle being bashed about a bit. Maybe even a touch of heat damage, actually. But even then... But there's still... But, you know, there's enough sugar and booze. <laughs> but even then, you've got that delicious sort of um, pruny, raisinous, sultanery character Oh, to yeah, it. that's all there. It's just which the mid-palate, isn't it? it? That mid-palate is just lacking a little. I wouldn't care a jot. Yeah. 
It's like, lacking a little bit of complexity on the on on it. Just a, towards and the end. weight. Yeah, exactly, which is what you want. But anyway. But it's incredibly educational, and we were lucky to try it. And it's lovely. Same. And thank you, Richard. Yes. Graham's. Don't worry. We'll 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 open another one. <laughs> at some point. You've got to have a leaving do. Oh God. That'll be just me walking out the door. That's be, that's where we're gonna have some somber full music yeah, as yeah. you as you walk out the door, bottle of wine in hand. I hear by <laughs> Christmas you just smash a bottle of Moet <laughs> on my head. Yeah. Um, so yeah, go forth onto the world. Yes, Blackadder goes. When forth. are you leaving? How long is it? Two months? Probably it's gonna be mid June. Jeez, sadness, eh? We're gonna have to do a load of videos between now and then. Indeed. Okay, time to get drunk. Toodaloo. Bye.